Oh my God, you guys, hold on. Let me sit down. So first off, I just wanna like not come on here with any fancy intros or anything like that, but I really just wanna say thank you to everybody who viewed my last video. Um, yeah, not that the video hit like a million views or nothing crazy like that, but it definitely was out of the norm for what I'm used to seeing. And the comment section, I'm just like literally blown away by the comments because every comment in there is so positive and so motivating and so uplifting. My mind is blown. <laughs> Thank you for those in the comment section like encouraging me to keep going or encouraging others and like offering to support other people in the comments. Like you guys are amazing. Truly and honestly amazing, okay? But yes, outside of just wanting to tell you guys thank you. Um, I'm still kind of going through all the comments. I'm literally like, I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> but yeah, I'm still kind of going through all the comments. Um, and I just want to address like two things, two major things that I noticed after reading um, the majority of the comments. And by no means am I trying to make this into like a motivational channel or anything like that. But I did just wanna hop on to address it. But two things that I kind of took away from the comment section are that for one, I'm not alone <laughs> in being introverted and being on YouTube for a long time and not seeing like um, super fast growth. And I think that's important to show because a lot of people assume or a lot of people have an expectation like, I'm gonna get on YouTube and I'm just gonna take off and skyrocket and I feel like for the majority of people, that's that's not gonna happen. That's not the reality of the situation, you know. Um, it takes a while. You have to kind of like steady climb up there, you know. Who knew so many of us were introverts? Like what? Like y'all don't even know. Making that video itself was hard because I'm used to talking and telling people how, did, how I did this and you know, doing like a tutorial type style like teaching almost. So just getting on a camera and expressing my thoughts, just like winging it, it's super hard for me still. You know, like I said, I'm a work in progress and talking to YouTube does actually help that. Um, but yeah, I know I made a lot of mistakes in that video. I know I said um a lot of times. I, I know I said, you know what I mean? <laughs> a lot of times that you live and you learn. We'll get there. Um, and it's also about just getting outside of your comfort zone. You know, this year, really taking the initiative to step outside our comfort zones, do things we're not used to doing, trying new things, experimenting, seeing what works and what doesn't. Um, even with myself, like I'm making a major career change this year from one field going into a completely different field, um, basically starting from scratch, you know, so just... This year for me is just all about stepping outside of what I'm comfortable doing and praying that it pays off. Introverts out there, fellow introverts, <laughs> we gotta step outside for, um, in order, you gotta step outside of your comfort zone in order to get new opportunities, reach new heights, and you know, set new goals for yourself because you never know what may come of it. Another thing I saw a lot of was people not only relating to being on YouTube but for a long time, but a lot of people saying that they wanted to start a YouTube channel and doubting themselves or being an overthinker. And these can be dangerous, I'm not even gonna lie. They're, that's a mindset shift that you basically have to transform. You have to transform your mind. Like, I don't know how else to put it. You just have to break out of that mentality and that way of thinking because that right there will really hold you back with not only like YouTube, but with anything in life any goal that you have, anything that you're looking to achieve, overthinking, constantly doubting yourself. Like, nobody should be supporting you and believing in you more than you believe in yourself. And even if you make content and nobody is watching your content, your first thought shouldn't be, oh, my content is bad, um, what I'm making is horrible, it sucks, like, what's the point? It shouldn't be that first. You can't be the one putting yourself down because how will you grow that way? You won't. Um, and if you're looking to, like YouTube for me is like a side paycheck. 
if you want to call it that because my paychecks are very very small <laughs> trust me they're very small um but it's just like a side thing for me um but if you're looking to become like uh where youtube is your main source of income you have to always remember as well like these algorithms and, and these social media platforms are so they're funny things okay um i've seen people on instagram tiktok youtube people i know personally who utilize seo and analytics they do all the right stuff keywords in the descriptions hashtags they have hd thumbnails they do everything by the book the correct way and their videos are just not pushed through i don't know why that is i don't know um and then you see people who just upload and don't do anything and they have a million views um yeah i don't i feel like the algorithm the algorithms <laughs> Are just a funny thing and it's very like hit or miss and I don't think you should ever feel like the algorithm is out to get you if you're not seeing views or if something is against you um, these platforms don't care they push what they want to push and nine times out of ten it's gonna be luck of the draw I mean that's what I've observed um, that last video I made for instance that last video I made for instance is a perfect example of that because I normally when I upload videos I make sure my my thumbnails are HD I make sure I try to list keywords and inviting you know titles and things like that that last video had none of that literally the thumbnail came from whatever they suggested and I just hit it it was just like one of those videos I just wanted to record real quick post it and go um, yeah I don't my point being, I don't think you should get so wrapped up in the algorithm or if your video has views or if it does not have views. Because like I said in that previous video, you should be doing YouTube for yourself. You do stuff, you do what makes you happy and everything else will fall in line, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. You do what makes you happy. If you thoroughly enjoy making videos and editing and doing all this and that, just keep doing what you're doing eventually. It'll get picked up. It may not be mr beast numbers right off the gate but mr beast himself somebody put that in the comments too they said mr beast himself was on youtube for like 10 years or something before he even blew up to where he is so keep that in the back of your mind it's gonna be a slow and steady pace it's not gonna be you know <laughs> it's just not gonna elevate like that you know and to the people that it does happen to just keep going and i think you also have to remember that literally all it takes is one video one video to go viral and your whole life on the internet can change <laughs> i think we all know this by now um you can literally go from like zero to a hundred real quick just through one video but the fact of the matter is you never know which video that's gonna be you never know which video on youtube tiktok instagram facebook you never know which one is gonna be that the algorithm chooses to pick up and makes it explode for you and now your growth is crazy you know so that's why it's really important super important that you just keep going don't give up on yourself believe in yourself know that what you're doing is what you like to do and what you enjoy doing and all things work out for your good but yeah y'all that's the main thing i want to say um just thank you thank you thank you and for those like trying to really live off of youtube don't put limitations on yourself. Keep going, keep grinding it out. Um, and if you need motivation and encouraging words, please go back to that last video and read the comments because when I tell you, anytime I feel like down, especially with like regarding YouTube and specifically, I'm gonna go back to that video and reread those comments because never in my life have I seen so many positive comments. I'm literally floored. Um, so yeah, y'all, I just wanted to come on and say thank you. Um, keep going, y'all. We're going to work this thing out. We're going to keep grinding together and see y'all on the top. <laughs> Pray y'all have an amazing day. See y'all in my next video. Bye.